Hallo. Tok, 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 tok. Hmm. I'm disturbing you, isn't it? Locking your door so often. What to do? It's, uh, it's still, we are in October. October, and uh, it's, uh, uh, that uh, this 31st of October is on Sunday 31st of October Sunday it is uh, like uh, what we called uh, the Kines day and uh, you have uh, you have uh, two important days a month that is the day when the moon is waxing and moon, moon is waning if you count count from you know from full moon on that becomes like a and uh, the darkness day moon is waning and from counting from the, from the, from the first of the Lunar calendar. It's on the on the tenth. It's uh, when the when it's Guru Mbuch's day. Guru Mbuch's day. So on thirty first thirty first of October, which is the twenty fifth of of, of of the ninth month. Twenty fifth of ninth month. So I don't want to confuse you too much. Too much. Uh, so please try to get ready for the thirty first of October. It is very important it's still part of the um, part of what part of the the buddha's descending part of that ninth month and also it's the guinness day and please try to <coughs> try to do whatever you can to make it auspicious and worthwhile i'm sorry to annoying you but uh, but uh, Time is going very fast, very fast. So I want you to always be ready, ready for everything, for your happiness, for your peace and, and mind. And as you know, what makes us happy, what makes us suffer are also in our head. So, who will be able to know that, and uh, who will be able to really check our trouble and our cause of trouble? No one can do this for us. No one. In the entire existence, we're the only one who can check what's going on in your mind. On the basis of our mind, what, how we are reacting in our life. So we have a body, we have a speech, and we have a mind. So we have to be aware of what's going on in our body, in our speech, in our mind, in connection with our, our society, with the friends, with the family, how we are reacting. Who can check this? It's only us. So I, I think it's so important to be aware. As often as possible, if it's possible, very often during the course of the day, but at least when you wake up and uh, when we go to sleep, check how is, how your day going to be. Make sure that uh, that you realize that we are still in in the same world. I feel I'm really honored. That I can still knock your door and disturb you. Yeah, there will be a moment that I will not have that opportunity to knock your door. Maybe I won't be there, maybe you won't be there. Who knows? Life is so uncertain, you know? So I really want you to be aware all the time that this is a really a gift. 
we have uh, opportunity to breathe. And this is something incredible. We're still here, but we don't know for how long. And then making sure that we're going to make our day wonderful, one way to another. Being aware of our, our actions of the body, actions of speech, and actions of the mind and try to make sure that we do something worthwhile, something positive for everyone, including ourselves. Our happiness, our suffering depend on us. So, we have to make sure that we do it with really very, very uh, clear and lucidity of our mind and uh, making sure whatever we do, we do on the basis of four things love, compassion, joy and impartiality love, it needs to be unconditioned love and compassion as well joy and impartiality as well love According to our teacher, the most kind and precious teacher, the Buddha Shakyamuni, love is nothing else than wishing everyone be happy with the cause of happiness. Compassion is no other than like wishing everyone be free from suffering and its cause. Joy is a rejoicing happiness of others rather than being jealous. Impartiality is like when we generate love, compassion, joy, impartial to every sentient beings. Every sentient beings. That is something really that we need to cultivate as basis for everything. When we are in meditation or post-meditation and we need to be aware when we wake up Wow, I'm still alive, I'm still breathing and uh, although maybe we slept very well and we rested and we're happy but maybe we didn't sleep well and uh, but there's no point for us to get upset and uh, there's no point for us, us to get excited about it. Making sure that when we, we didn't sleep well, we are very moody, we are unhappy. But that is not going to solve our problem. What do we have to think? Making sure that this is not only us who are experiencing such a situation. There are so many, so many, so many sentient beings going through terrible moments so making just wish from your depth of heart that may all the troubles in the world be exhausted by this trouble that I'm trying to face and overcome making positive thought toward the situation sometime when we wake up we rested well we feel really excited about it Yes, wonderful. We should really rejoice that we have that that moment and make a thought, aspiration. May all beings be happy with the cause of happiness. Just really making that, sending that wish to everybody is so precious. And then when, before falling asleep, please, how exhausted you are, how tired you are, how busy you have been, Take a few seconds, check how you have they have been. And it ha if it has been wonderful, please make sure that you dedicate this virtue for all beings. So making wish that may all beings be happy with cause of happiness. And if it, if it hasn't been very well, you have trouble. We have all the trouble trouble in the world just fall on you please don't get discouraged 
take that and use it in a way making wish that may this situation never come to any body. May this purify suffering and cause of suffering for others. And that is what happens is that we are bringing the happiness and sufferings on the path. That way we need we need to gain our courage and confidence that we are going to do. We are going to do everything what you can. Please never give up. Giving up is a sign of failure. Giving up is not a sign of success but failure. So therefore get more st stronger determination that you're going to you're going to do it, you're going to succeed it. For the well being of all our mo beloved mother sentient beings. And of course, as usual, I request you to include all forms of life, not only human beings, but everybody, every sentient beings. That is my heartfelt wishes and uh, a request. And also, when you fall asleep, and try to think of all the awakened ones, the enlightened ones. Think of them. Feel their blessings. They feel their presence, and make sure that you're going to be aware in your dream. You are going to recognize the dream as a dream, dream as luminosity. Try to be aware until you fall asleep and try to just relax you know, and be reflect, being aware of your uh, your mind, being rested in in the present moment. That is really sometimes I find it is really best kind of a sleeping pill the moment you you just try to relax and try to think with love and compassion for all beings feel the presence of the, all the enlightened ones and then you can enter into another dimension total at ease and peace you physically you relax it and your mind and then it's so wonderful and then when if you wake up please make sure you have the opportunity to check how how did you sleep? How was your state of mind? If it has been wonderful, dedicate again. Try to be aware. Make sure you're going to make it even better. If it hasn't been well, oh, it's don't worry. It's not permanent. It's not eternal. It's going to bound to change. And uh, make sure that may that remove. Suffering and cause for sufferings of others. And then that way you can bring everything on the path. And so on the 31st of October, it's going to be Dakini's Day. The day, like you have uh, two, two important days, that is, and like when the moon's going up, when the moon's going down. Yes. Um, Think of a precious Guru, Padma Sambhava. His compassion, compassion, compassion as a soul, like a, the, the, when the moon's going up, it's more the compassion aspect. And when the moon's down, more the wisdom aspect. And think of Guru Pache. Think of all the Buddhas. Please. Try to be aware of the four thoughts, love, compassion, joy, impartiality, and please engage in everything what you can do, positive by your body, speech, and mind, and especially, please do not forget the six things, six parameters we called generosity and uh, the discipline, tolerance, diligence, concentration, and wisdom. What we are talking about, gen like uh, uh, generosity, there are so many types, so many situations we can be generous. And so, we can be generous, whatever we might have, 
and being able to share share with others what we have for those who doesn't have like a material generosity generosity and practice in material and then uh, also like trying to protect lives of others and uh, and uh, which is something really very precious and important that we want to live well and long so to be able to succeed this we have to save lives of others protect lives of others even we can't help prolong the lives of others we must make sure that we are not the cause of the shorting lives of others or putting our mother's life in danger it is so important and then try to share thought of wisdom whatever we know whatever little we know try to share with others and through thoughts and words and actions thoughts try to really maintain your your love compassion joy impartiality in a way that unconditioned and verbally try to use your your speech and pr pronouncing the names of buddhas you know just being able to pronounce once it really close the door or of trouble draw of law rebirth for the sentient being because all these enlightened beings they did not get enlightened in one day for it took eons eons for they, them to get enlightened but everything what they did like buddha shakyamuni for three seven like three infinite eons he did everything for for us everything he did for us so there's so much virtue and so think of the buddhas and uh, they did everything for the well-being of sentient beings because of this and uh, to even pronounce the name of buddha is so powerful it really closes the door of trouble door of of suffering of everyone and opens the door the gate of happiness and peace just even pronouncing names of the enlightened ones and that is also important for you to think whoever hears your name whoever see you whoever think of you please make sure that you make the aspiration may it benefit others on the basis of your heart love compassion joy and impartiality and then When we talk of the discipline, discipline is not something that's foreign from us. Try to be aware. And so that try to avoid any forms of harm by our body, speech, and mind. Avoid them. That helps us to eradicate the source of all problems. And then also try to be aware all the virtues we can do engage we try to do it it's also a form of a discipline try to engage in virtue by body speech mind try to do everything what we can and then especially engage in virtues that helps others our beloved mothers you know there's not a single being throughout inter existence to think beings in the ocean beings in the mountain is so wonderful but that's not enough inter existence there are lives and all these lives they have been important to us one way to another because this is not our first life we had so many lives in the past and so they are all important they have been important to us so therefore we have to think of all our loved ones our beloved mothers and do everything what we can in a positive virtuous way and then 
we have to be patient we have to tolerate if we could not succeed once that's not enough we can do it again and again until we succeed until we succeed we should try to do it with what with joy or oh, at least i can try try to do this then when we talk of the diligence diligence is just trying to cultivate joy in what we're doing nothing else just try to cultivate joy wow i managed to do something worthwhile joy that's really important and then concentration sometimes we can call it meditation try to be in present without any distractions trying to be here and now and then wisdom is no any kind of uh, grasping and clinging it's not based on, on on selfishness but based on wisdom not clinging to subject option action so on the basis of this we can try to do whatever we can even just to pronounce to call upon the enlightened ones has so much virtue so much virtue so I would like to again call upon the Buddha. Why I'm only calling on Buddha? Because our source of information, our source of happiness, everything thanks to the Buddha, our kind, precious guide, the Buddha Shakyamuni. So, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Dharmaya. Namo Sangaya, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Dharmaya, Namo Sangaya, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Dharmaya, Namo Sangaya. Dehyatam Mone Mone Maha Mona Yeso Dehyatam Mone Mone Maha Mona Yeso who is no other than Buddha. Buddha is of three times, the past, present, future. Source of Buddha is of future, nature of the Buddha is present, and representative of the Buddha is past. Um, which is really means for us to achieve freedom and peace so therefore 
we shall call upon Lord with great compassion. It was no other than the Gurumbache. Gurumbache manifested a heart of compassion of, uh, of the, the compassion of all the Buddhas. In Sanskrit, we would call it Buddha Amitabha, who is the source and manifestation of a Lord of Great Compassion. In Dhammakaya level, we would call it ultimate level, the Buddha Infinite Light. And uh, on the manifesting body, Lord of Great Compassion, in the, on the level of all the enjoyment body, Sambhokaya, the Buddha of great compassion, on the manifesting body level, Guru Padma Sambhu. So, Om infinite life who gives us the, the power to succeed and uh, prolong the virtues in the world which we call it Buddha Amitayu infinite life Om Amarani Jivande Soa Om Amarani Jivande Soa Om Amarani Jivande Soa Now, I'll call upon the mother Mother of all the enlightened ones, Mother Tara. Um, Dari, do, Dari, do, re, so, um, Dari, do, Dari, do, re, so, um, Dari, do, Dari, do, re, so. Now for all this we need uh, wisdom, we call upon the Buddha of Great Wisdom, Manjushri. Om Arabhajanadi, Om Arabhajanadi, Om Arabhajanadi. And also I would like to call upon Buddha Vajrapani. Om Vajrapani Om Vajrapani Om Vajrapani With this I would like to make heartfelt wishes to every one of you. May all your difficulties come to cease. 
May all the happiness increases. May your love and compassion increases, and may your your ability to be able to achieve our goal of freedom for all beings be successful. And especially, please do your best. My heartfelt request. Try to, even you can't help anybody, please try to avoid any harm. Mentally, verbally and physically, our life is very short. We have no idea how long we're going to live. So therefore, please, please try to be patient with your friends, families, and take it everything like illusory not truly exist, the dreamlike. And so please try to maintain your patience and tolerance in every situation. In the action of the body, speech and mind, please preserve. One of the most important things is your patience, your tolerance. And uh, please <coughs> try to reduce anything that is like causes suffering and death of for our mothers and so please please try to become vegetarian and if it's possible be vegan that's so important please try your best it is possible it is possible and because we we attach to certain kind of and taste and we think it's impossible to eat something without meat and that's wrong it's not true and it's all the taste what we get is from the spies and things we added on not because the test for our test we have to to put our mother's life in danger please that way it really protects our life in danger, avoiding the harm, dangers for others, it protects ourselves. Greatest protection for your health, for your well being, it's really, really good. And it, often we think, oh, I must eat, I must eat some meat and this and that because I need to get strength. Please, believe me. The strength doesn't come from the meat. Look at the elephant, his strongest animal, but he's strong. The elephant doesn't need to eat meat to get strength. They, live, they are vegetarian. And the vegetarian, please try to avoid. If it's possible, completely. If not, on auspicious days. From time to time, please try to reduce this. And by reducing pain and sufferings of our beloved mothers, and definitely we are left with peace. This is my heartfelt request. I'm sorry to always too noisy, too disturbing, but I can't help it because I care for you, care for your happiness, care for your peace. I'm sorry for this, but I really have to insist please try to help all sentient beings may the happiness prevail in all directions peace prevail in this world we dedicate this thought for all the beings for the all the long life long life of all the all those who are helping others May there be peace throughout inter-existence. All the disaster come to end. All my best wishes to every one of you. Thank you.